What's up YouTube, it's POCG here, and today I just stopped by my local Walmart and picked up a mystery power box. This mystery power box includes one rare, Metal Raiders graded card, one legacy pack, and four booster packs. So you have the chance of getting Black Skull Dragon, Mirror Force, or Gate Guardian. All right, we're back. I just wanted to grab a quick mat because I just got this one in. It's actually my buddy's, he's letting me borrow it. Super cool though, I like the art. This is a, a handmade mat or a homemade mat, so I think they did a really good job. It's got a little bit of a fold here, so I hope that doesn't bother you guys or that I don't have anything in back, so I'm doing this at my buddy's house. Anyways, let's just jump in to this. I'll go ahead and flip to the back, and so you can get a Code of the Duelist, Dark Sabers, Break of Shadow, Flame Destruction, just some of the ideas of cards that you can get. So you are guaranteed the uh, Metal Raiders Graded Card, Legacy Pack, and four Booster Packs. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump in and see what we can pull. I don't really get these too often because you really have to pull good to get your value back, but I do enjoy the um, opening this up. It's like a Christmas present. I mean, you get such a random surprise, and I'm gonna try to take this graded card so it's face down. Okay, let's see here. Okay, perfect. And then we have all of our booster packs. Pretty cool box, so I like that has the original characters in it. So I have my graded card, which I'll save to the end of the video. And then we have a, uh, for our legacy pack, we have Invasion of Chaos, which is probably one of my personal favorites. And then for our random booster packs, we have two Code of the Duelists, first edition, mind you. And then we have a Dragon's Legend Unleashed. And for the last pack, we have Raging Tempest. This pack is not worth much at all, but you can actually still get ultimates in it, which is really cool. All right, so we'll open this pack last. And I'll go ahead and start and work my way across here. So we have, for our first booster pack, we have Raging Tempest. Like I said, I don't have my old uh, setup. I'm at my friend's house, so don't mind the lighting or maybe even the music might be um, not what you're used to. So here, let's go ahead and rip through these, see what I pulled. Cyber 2-2 bot. And we got Lost Wind for a rare. Hey, if you're gonna pull a rare, that's not a bad one. And we have Zodiac Whiptail. Gosh, I remember this card. I can't wait for them to uh, add some more Zodiac cards and maybe take some of them off the ban list. That would be pretty broke because I enjoyed Zodiac. Not so much the format because it was just all Zodiac everywhere, uh, but I enjoyed just the deck and its play style. It was definitely uh, unique compared to some of the others. All right, moving on to the next booster pack, Dragons, Legend Unleashed. All right, and we have Mirror Force Dragon, Mound of the Bound Creator, Flower Cardian, Flower Cardian card as well, and Ritual Sanctuary, a decent Seeker Rare. I think this one still holds a few dollars in value. All right, two packs uh, of our one, and then we have our legacy pack and our graded card, which I will do last. Code of the Duelist, if I pull Firewall, I won't be mad. I know he's banned, but hey, it'd be cool to just uh, have another one of him lying around. Chosen by the World Chalice. Supreme King, Odd Eyes. And we have an ultra rare, March of the Dark Brigade. I forgot what this actually does. Let's go ahead and read this. Target one life sworn monster in your graveyard that has a level, add it to your hand, and then banish a number of cards from the top of your deck equal to the original level. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I don't think it really ever saw play, however. Another World Chalice card, and Treasure Panda. If you haven't seen this card, uh, it's definitely used in a lot of the Exodia FTKs. All right, we're down to our last Code of the Duelist booster pack. Pretty cool that they're still first edition, too. Sorry, my camera is not really focusing in too well. I think it's just the sunlight that's actually coming in from the left. Defense Zone, the UA support card, Jack Wyvern. Supreme King Drag, uh, uh, Starving Venom. That dragon card is super awesome. I got this, I believe, uh, a whole bunch of them. And then we have a super rare DDD, Wave High King Caesar. So just a super rare on that one. Smile Universe, kind of a funny card. Another Treasure Panda, Predator Plant, and Hack Worm. All right, what we've all been waiting for, the Invasion of Chaos Booster Pack. If we pull a foil of this, guys, I would be so pumped. You know what? Smash that like button to ensure that I do pull a foil. Your luck uh, is definitely needed. Let's see what I can get. And guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to try to get back into my rhythm of posting a lot more, a lot of more openings, so uh, stay tuned for those. And then definitely like the video so that I can get some more views. All your support uh, means a lot to me. Smashing Ground. And we have an Enraged Battle Ox for a rare. Decent common there. We have Salvage. My friend actually just mentioned he picked up the Super Rares thinking they might go up, possibly. And there is very few of them on the market, so some of you guys out there are buying them out. All right, so I have one card left, and that is my graded Beckett card. You know what? We didn't pull so hot, so I am hoping that we can pull a foil graded card. And here we go. Drum roll, please. And we have... Gate Guardian! He pulls a secret rare Gate Guardian. I think this is one of the best cards you can pull. 
Wow, this makes up for the box. Oh my gosh, Beckett graded Gate Guardian Secret Rare. I think this is a $100 card if I uh, am correct. I don't, I'm gonna have to look that up after the video or if you guys wanna comment below, but that is, I think, the best card you can pull in the set. Graded 10, Secret Rare. Oh my gosh, I wonder what the odds are in this. Not bad at all, that makes up for everything. Dude, this is insane, super pumped. And I've actually never owned a Gate Guardian. I was actually looking at buying one and now I don't have to. I have a 10 mint Beckett graded. Although it's unlimited, it's still worth some money. Super curious. Again, if you could comment below. Guys, what an awesome opening. I appreciate all you guys liked, that liked my video. I appreciate you guys. It's going for a lot of money. I think my friend just pulled it up. Uh, so thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for my future openings. As always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.